Hello everyone and welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm George and in today's video I'll show you how to create a fillable survey PDF form using the combination of Excel and PDF Element. So stay tuned for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Welcome to the PDF Element YouTube channel. This video is structured into three key segments. Creating a fillable form in Excel, converting an Excel to a fillable PDF form, and adding fillable fields to the PDF form. I assure you that at the end of this video, you will learn how to create a fillable PDF from Excel and fill it out quickly. Sounds great, right? Let's get started. First, create a fillable form in Excel. Open a new Excel sheet and go to the page layout. This time, I use the A4 size. You will notice two dotted lines indicated the A4 range. Ensure all information is within the designated range. Now, I'll enter all the information I intend to collect from the target audience, including details like name, phone number, email address, membership number, how long they've been a member, and age group. Additionally, I'm interested in knowing where they discovered our product. Furthermore, I aim to gather feedback on our product, support service, and membership fee, along with insights into how our members would recommend the product to others. For satisfaction-related questions, I'll use a 1 to 10 scale. The last question seeks suggestions for enhancing our products or services. To make the survey form look professional, you can separate different sections with blank lines. To help PDF Element better understand where to add a text field, we can use borders to highlight the fillable spaces. For this form, I will add outside borders to the fields, such as name, phone number, email address, membership number, membership period, and the suggestion area. Regarding the other spaces, I intend to add checkboxes or radio buttons, so I will leave them without borders. We can fill in the blank areas with white color to visualize the complete layout of the survey form. And now, the survey form is finally created in Excel. Now, we go to the second part. Convert the Excel sheet to a fillable PDF form. First, we can save the Excel sheet as a PDF file. Alternatively, we can open PDF Element and go to the Create PDF tab to import the Excel sheet. It will be converted to a PDF file directly. Here comes the final part of this video, adding fillable fields to the PDF form. Now, we have the survey form in PDF format. To make it fillable, go to the Form tab and choose Recognize Form. The highlight boxes will be automatically recognized as the fillable fields. To ensure the form has a consistent appearance, don't forget to go to the field properties, change the field name, and adjust the font style and size. Next is the membership period field. I want to add a drop-down list for the target audience. To do this, we can change the field type to a drop-down menu. Then, go to the properties and change the field name to membership period. In the appearance tab, set the field font and size to match the form. We can then use the option settings to enter selections. I plan to create four levels, starting by pressing the spacebar five times to create the appearance and then entering the items. Less than one year, one to two years, three to five years, and more than five years. Move to the age group section. For this part, I plan to add radio buttons. Add one radio button for the 18 to 24 years category. Change the field name to age group. Then, use the Create Multiple Copies of Fields option to add radio buttons for the remaining age selections. For the question regarding where you found our product, a checkbox is a suitable option. The adding process is the same as adding a radio button. Alright, we've reached the Satisfaction Scale section. So, how do we go about creating a star pattern ranking box? It's quite straightforward. Same as selecting a checkbox, adding below the question, going to the properties to change the field name and appearance. And then at the options section, you will find the place to change the checkbox style. There are six patterns we can choose, including the star one. Finally, use create multiple copies of fields to create 10 ranking boxes. For the remaining ranking boxes, we can apply the same process. The last question uses points to indicate the willingness for a recommendation. The checkbox style to be used is the circle one. The fillable survey is ready. Let's test it to see if it works perfectly. That was all about how to create a fillable PDF form from Excel. I hope all the content of this video has been useful to you. 
From now on, I'm sure these tools will make it easier for you to fill out and create PDF forms. Please remember to share your questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up with future videos and more useful tips and tricks. See you next time.